You won't need anything other than your mat for this class. In this class, we're gonna be working on hip mobility, ankle mobility, glutes, and rotation. When you're ready, let's go ahead and get started seated in a 90-90 position. So your right leg is gonna be bent in front of you with your knee aligned with your hip and your ankle aligned with your knee. And then your left leg is gonna be slightly behind you. You want the knee again in line with the hip and then the ankle in line with the knee. From here, we're gonna take a deep inhale and place the left palm on the left knee and reach the right arm up and over just to find some side bend here. Breathe into your right rib cage. On your exhale, place your right hand on your mat, reach the left arm up and over without collapsing through your right waist. Keep lifting up as you expand through your left rib cage. From here, we forward fold into the right leg. Alrighty, when you're ready, we're gonna lift up. And as we lift up, the hands are gonna come together and we're gonna lift the left knee off of the mat finding external rotation through the hip. Slowly come all the way back down and find internal rotation. As you push the leg down into the mat, we find this forward fold. We're gonna do four more like this, taking it slow, opening up the hip, and then slowly forward folding. You can keep the hands together, you can place them down on the mat. Every time you come down, just find what feels natural for you. And breathe. Two more. Good. Last one, we're gonna lift up and hold. Lower the left leg and lift for six. And five, sit up tall. Four, three, last two, and one. Lower the leg down, good. From here, we're gonna to switch to the other side, left leg bent in front, right leg bent beside. Find the alignment through your body first. Take your time, get yourself all set up. And then we'll start with the side bend, placing right palm on right knee, making sure we're not rotating through the shoulders here. The shoulders stay pointed forward. And we drop the left palm, reach the right arm up and over. Push your left palm deeper into the mat to deepen the stretch through the right side of your body. From here, we forward fold into the left leg. Breathe, let gravity take its course as you forward fold. When you're ready, we lift up, we use the core to sit up tall, we float the right leg up, and we lower down and forward fold. Good, four more. We lift, open, close, and lower. Last three. This is a different side of your body, so if you have less range of motion, maybe more range of motion, it's okay. Just listen to what your body is telling you. Last one. We lift up and hold. We lower and lift for five, four, good, three, and two. Last one. Lower everything down. You're gonna swing your legs behind you and come onto your hands and your knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide and untuck your toes. Find your proper alignment here as we go into cat-cow. Starting from the tailbone, we start to peel open the chest. Breathe. As you exhale, round deeply through your spine. As you push the ground away, you look back towards your thighs. Inhale through your nose. We push the shin bones down into the mat as we let the collarbones smile. And we pull the belly button as we round the spine. One more in each direction. We open and we round. Good, find your neutral spine somewhere in the middle of those two. Make sure your wrists are under your shoulders and your right knee is gonna stay under your hip as we float the left knee off of the mat. Keep the leg bent and start to create circles through your left hip. It doesn't matter which direction you start and it doesn't matter how small or how large you take these circles. What's important is that you find stability through the rest of your body 
through this motion. So we're not shifting our weight from one palm to the other. We're pushing the right shin bone down and we're continuously pushing ourselves away from the ground. Find stability. Last two. Pull the belly in. Last one, we reverse the direction. Take it gentle with the circles and breathe. Good. Eight more. And seven. Six. Last five. Push yourself away from the ground another inch. Four. Three. Two. Last one. We're going to step the left foot forward in between both palms and hinge forward, opening up through the right hip. When you're ready, you're gonna lean back, flex your left foot to feel a hamstring stretch through the left leg, and then lean right back forward. Continue through this motion without rounding through your shoulders, right? So it's really easy to just round deeply here. Try to stay peeling open, puffing open the chest, and maybe getting a little deeper into this range of motion as you flow. We're gonna do three more. Good. And two. Last one, we're gonna hold forward, place your hands on your left knee, and then imagine like you've got a little kangaroo tail, you're trying to tuck the tail under. As you push your hips forward, you can stay upright and you will feel a deeper stretch through your right hip flexor. Breathe here. And then when you're ready, you're gonna hinge back, but this time you're gonna keep the right knee aligned under the left hip. So just walk the left foot a little bit more forward, flex your foot and breathe, deepening the hamstring stretch here. Breathe space throughout that left leg. Maybe pull your toes another inch towards your chest. Come right back forward, swing the leg behind you, keep both knees down on the mat and come into a high kneeling position. Stretch both arms out in front of you with your palms facing down. Squeeze your glutes as you push your hips forward. Pull the belly in and cinch it together with your rib cage. From here, we start to lean back, finding your thigh stretch and then come back up. Go as far as you can control without changing the shape of your hips, the shape of your body. We're gonna do six more. Push the tops of your feet into the mat. Last five. Four. Open the chest. Three. And two. Last one, we're gonna hold. Rotate to the left as you bend the left elbow. Think little bow and arrow here, and then stretch forward, other side. We bend the right elbow, look over the right shoulder, and reach forward. Stay in that hinged back position. Keep squeezing the glutes. Keep pushing the hips forward, and breathe. Imagine like your rib cage is rotating over your belly, over the core. Inhale, twist. Exhale, reach one more each side. Good. Lower the palms. You're gonna step your right foot forward. Hands on the mat. Hinge forward, pushing the hips forward. And then rocking back, feeling the hamstring stretch through the right leg. Breathe. While you stretch here, it's very easy for your body to kind of hold tension in other parts of your body. So just bring awareness to maybe your face and how you can soften it, maybe your shoulders, wherever you hold your tension. Two more. Last one. We're gonna stay forward, bring the hands on the knees, Push the hips forward. The hip will stay over the left knee. Feel that stretch through the left hip flexor. And then walk your right foot forward to feel the hamstring stretch on this side. 
You can always reposition your foot as you need. Breathe. Really flex deeply through the foot, drawing your toes back towards your face. Lower the foot down, swing the leg behind you, hands go back on the mat. We find our hip circles on the right leg. Float the knee off of the mat and start to circle out the leg. Last exercise here on the knees, don't worry if your knees are bothering you. We're almost done with this little section. Breathe. Last six. Five. Engage the core, four, three, last two, and one, we reverse, eight more. Almost think like swan through your chest. That's how much you wanna puff it open without lifting your neck or your chin. The neck stays in line with the spine, but the chest is puffing open. Four more, and three, last two, and one. Step your right foot back, flex your foot and lean back, feeling a calf stretch through your right leg. Sway forward and back two more times. Bend the right knee in, other side. We step the left foot back, we sway back, and fourth. Two more. Keep the left foot where it is. When you're ready, step the right foot back and find your plank. Walk your feet together. Push the ground away from you. Take a deep inhale. Squeeze your glutes. Imagine like your palms are dragging back towards your toes as your toes are pulling up towards your palms. Breathe. From here, we rotate to the left, stretch the left arm up to the ceiling. Lower the left palm down, we switch to the other side. T open the arms, lower the palm, continue to alternate from side to side, making sure you hold this position rather than just rushing through it. I know we want this little section, to be over and done with, we're almost there. Find strength, find energy through your body. You got it. We're gonna do one more on each side. Last one, we rotate, reach. Lower the palm down, find your plank, separate your feet, hip distance, lift the hips up, Walk the feet in if you need and just find your down dog. Pedal out your legs, dragging your heels towards the mat, pushing your chest towards your thighs. And then let's drop down to the knees, keep the knees nice and wide and sit back in a little child's pose for one deep breath. Keep your forearms off of the mat as you push your palms the hips sink further back towards your heels. Both hands on the left side of the mat, right palm stacks on top. Breathe into your right rib cage. Come back through center, other side. Wrap your left hip back now to create more space through the left side of your body. Good. Come back through center. Roll forward, step back into your plank, and then walk your feet towards your hands. Stay in this forward fold position. Feel hamstring stretch, slight bend in the knees. And then when you're ready, slowly roll all the way up. Stretch both arms straight up to the ceiling. Lean back as you find some extension through your spine. Breathe. Walk your feet out. External rotation, little wide stance here. And as we forward fold, we start to bend the knees. Keep your elbows in between your knees. And from here, gently sway from side to side. 
Come back through center, palms go down, stretch the legs first. We roll all the way up, take it slow. Stretch the arms up. We're gonna do two more like this. Forward fold, bend the knees. Elbows push up against the inner thighs as we sway. Hands go back down, stretch the legs and roll up. Last one, breathe big, think big. Forward fold, bend the knees. Little sway from side to side. Hands go back down, stretch the legs and roll all the way up. From here, you are going to stay in that external rotation. I'm just gonna face forward. We're gonna come down into a squat. Your hands can be in front of you or on the hips. From here, we're gonna rotate over to the right, find a lunge, come back through center, wide squat, other side. Continue alternating from side to side and take it as slow as you need. You do not have to move at my pace. Just find a flow that feels natural. Find some balance through your body. We're gonna do one more each side. Good. We're gonna hold now with the right leg bent in front, left leg bent beside. Stretch the legs and bend the knees for six. Push your left heel down into the mat to feel calf stretch every time you lift up. Five. Good. Four. Three. Last two. One more, we lower down and hold. Float your right heel up and lower for six. Good. Five. Articulate through your ankle, four. Stay low in the lunge, three. Keep squeezing the glutes, two. Last one, we lift the heel and hold. Can we pulse up and down for six? Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back through center, wide squat, other side. We lower down and stretch up, push the right heel back. Five more. We're almost done with the still section, I promise. Four. Stay with me. Three. Stand up tall. Two. Last one, we lower and hold. Float the left heel up and down for five more. And four. Three, take it slow. Two, last one, hold. Up and down for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back into a wide squat, forward fold. Good. Give yourself some grace, those were tough. Sway your upper body from side to side. Awesome, I'm gonna face my mat once again. From here, palms go down, step back into a plank, just for a moment. Good, drop the knees, and go ahead and get seated on your mat with your legs wide on the mat to get ready for saw. Flex your feet, your heels are on the edges of your mat. You're gonna reach your arms out into T. Sitting up tall from the seated position, we're gonna rotate over to the left leg. Inhale through the nose. On your exhale, forward fold as you create a little saw-like movement, stretching the arms apart. We sit up tall through center. Inhale, we twist. Exhale, we reach. This is the home stretch. After this exercise, we've got one more little section and we're all done. I want you to push both of your hip bones down into the mat as you reach forward. Breathe. 
One more each side. Last one, we reach. Come back through center, lower your arms. We're gonna lay on our right side, propped up on our right forearm. The elbow is under your shoulders and your legs are stacked. From this position, try not to just sink down here, really prop yourself up. Left hand will stay on the hip or in front of you, wherever it feels more comfortable. You're gonna lift the left leg up, tap your heels together as you externally rotate, and then internally rotate as you bring your knees together. Good. Now it's important that as we externally rotate, we're not leaning back, right? We're keeping the hip pushing forward. Are you sweating as much as I am? I'm like sweating a lot. I don't know if it's just hot in here or if it's like the class. Maybe it's both. Hopefully you're right there with me and I'm not the only one sweating here. We're gonna do two more. <sighs> Last one, come back through center. Stretch the leg long. Externally rotate, point the toes. Lift the leg up, flex the foot to lower. Dial back through parallel bend continue on we stretch external point lift flex lower if this is way too complicated for you just start to lift lower bend and extend and then you can think about the pointing and the flexing of the feet when you feel ready for it we're doing two more good Last one, we're gonna bend the knee in parallel, little hydrants lifting up and down for six, five, four, three, two, woof, one. Lower the leg, punch out the glute if you need, prop yourself up, little counter stretch, wrap your left arm around your waist and the right arm will reach up and over. Awesome, we'll go to the other side. Prop your left forearm down on the mat. Stack your legs. Get yourself all set up for success. And we'll start with the external to internal rotation. Good. Last six. Five. Four and three. Last two. One more. We come back through center, stretch, lift, lower, bend. If your neck starts to bother you here, you can always look down towards your mat over the left shoulder. Four more. Don't collapse through your upper body. Three. Good. Last two. One more. Come back through center. Lift and lower. Last four. Three, two, one. Lower the leg. Plunge out the glute. Prop yourself up, counter stretch. I definitely recommend doing some lower body stretches, maybe with a towel or a magic circle. I have another class to guide you through those stretches for your IT band, your glutes, your hamstrings. And then maybe do a little ab series, the series of five. I have that class as well. That would be a great little pair for this class. But if not, <laughs> You are all set. And I hope that you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. And I will see you next time. Bye.